I'm gonna want to sing along to every single song and I already know it and I'm gonna be embarrassed because I don't even know all the lyrics to the songs but it's fine I'm gonna try my best <laughs> I feel like I'm opening up Pandora's box by doing a Disney princess movie I've already committed it's already up I'm already logged into my Disney plus and here we go <laughs> Welcome back! What's up guys? It's Ange and today we're gonna be watching one of my favorite, favorite, favorite Disney princess movies, Tangled. <laughs> I jumble between like three different ones. They always change depending on my mood and depending on the day. Those same three are just like, they're all my number ones basically. Can you guys guess which other two movies are on the top three list? Because I don't think it's that hard to figure out. So put it in the comments down below. What are, what's Ange's top three pr Disney princess movies? I want to see if you guys can get it right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are ready to see how much I fangirl over this movie. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet already, so you can stay tuned to all of my content. I post three times a week. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below. And follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday. Alrighty, y'all. Let's jump straight into the commentary. Oh god, I am so ready for this. I am so ready. You know I said in my last movie commentary, I need a guy, I need a boyfriend, like uh, Tadashi, but I need someone like Lynn Ryder too. This is the story of how I died. This is the story of a girl named Rapunzel. Gomei. Gomei's excited for the movie too. Grew a magic golden flower. It had the ability to heal. Okay, I think she's done. All right. <clears throat> a single drop of sunlight fell from the heavens. Okay, but you're telling me that the sun never did that ever again? Like there's no multiple magical flowers everywhere? I would love to see some spin-off movies. Centuries passed, and a hop skip and a boat ride away, there grew a kingdom. And the queen, well, she was about to have a baby. Yeah. But she got sick. No. And, and that's when people usually start to look for a miracle. I wonder what time period this is supposed to take place in. Ah, I told you she'd be important. Such a good narrator. And all she had to do was sing a special song. Flower, gleam, and glow. Make the clock reverse. Bring back what once was mine. Yo, the voice transition right here from old to freaking young. So smooth, so slick love and then she done messed up right here how did she not feel the lamp knock the freaking bush contraption thing that's not really hidden at all like who wouldn't suspect that perfect sphere half sphere dome thing like if i saw a bush like that i'd be poking at it and something's glowing underneath bro it's not even covered by any other like foliage it's just there but i'm not here to bash the movie I'm here to praise it. That's Rapunzel. <laughs> Hi, Rapunzel. And for that one moment, everything was perfect. Just that one moment, though. How shall I make the clock ring? Dun, dun, dun. Gothel broke into the castle, stole the child, and just like that, gone. Was Gothel trying to, like, keep her forever? Because then, you know, when Rapunzel, you know, passes away, inevitably out of old age, Gothel would just be dead too so she only has like really one lifetime left her plan is freaking flawed from the beginning anyways too i've had a lot of time to think and ponder upon this movie with the amount of times i've watched it so <laughs> y'all best be ready well I pascal guess pascal's not hiding out here <laughs> gotcha. pascal is so cute okay well what do you want to do Mandy Moore's voice is so satisfying. Oh, come on, Pascal. It's not so bad in there. Really? It isn't? Oh, the best intro song. I cannot. 7 a.m. the usual morning lineup. Swap of chores and sweep till the floor's all clean. Few new paintings to my gallery. Damn, as a 17-year-old, she does all this stuff, like... I was not nearly as talented or gifted or ambitious as she was. 
ventriloquy candle making. Look at Pascal carrying the candle, it's so cute. Lights will appear. Mandy Moore's voice right here is freaking good. Perfect casting choice. Tangled, I think, is also one of the best renditions of just uh, Rapunzel and her story. Hi, Flynn. Love of my life, Flynn. Wow. I could get used to a view like this. Terrifying. You're standing on a ledge. <coughs> hey, Fever? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what? He couldn't just not say anything. He had to give a one-liner. Oh. I love it. They could have definitely just taken it left and not have a chase, but he had to make it exciting. Love Flynn for that. I'm finally gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her. I also love how they made her 18, not like 15, 16, you know, the cringy years. How they did it like back then. They made all the princesses like much younger, just kind of like questionable, you know, it's a little bit of a head tilt, but we love how she is actually a Full, like becoming a full-blown adult and trying to make decisions for herself. That's an arm workout and a half. How you manage to do that every single day with That's what I'm saying. It's nothing. Then I don't know why it takes so long. Jeez. Dang, she really do be complaining. But you're the one that shoved her up into this tower. You take the stairs then. I see a take strong, the stairs. confident, beautiful young lady. Oh, look, you're here too. Mother Gothel is the biggest savage. You know how I feel about the mummy. Blah, 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 blah. It's very annoying. I'm just teasing. You're adorable. I love you so much, darling. She's so crazy. Mother Gothel is insane on a whole different level. They're meant for me. Because they are. You know why we stay up in this tower. This is a great, great villain song. I love you very much, dear. I love you more. Toxic! No, 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 no. This... They just can't get my nose right. They just can't get my nose right. Who cares? I care. I can't believe that after all we've been through together, you don't trust me? Nope. <clears throat> oh my god, he fully stepped on his face. My hands are full. Hey! God. The audio in this was so good. The like thumping of the horse's hooves on the ground before they actually come up. It like sounds so good with the headphones on. No. No. Stop it. Stop it. <gasps> nope, never. I'd be like, all right, looks like I'm not getting the crown. And good night. Goodbye. They should have died from this fall, but they don't. Such a pretty shot, too, with the silhouette. Wonder where the tower came from. Did Mother Gothel build it? I doubt it. Alone at last. <laughs> the frying pan. She's like, oh. It's kind of good looking. He looks nice. Huh? <gasps> Whoa! She's like relentless. She's whacking him like crazy. Oh God. You're gonna kill him. I've got her person in my closet. You sound like a psychopath, Rapunzel. A lunatic. I mean, years in solitude, especially your childhood years in solitude. Might be a little crazy. Plot twist, Rapunzel's actually cuckoo, serial, axe, pen, murderer. Flynn's gotta have some like brain injury at this point though. Pascal's best freaking line here. I have a big surprise. I do too. <laughs> I do too, I have a guy in my closet. Trust me, Rapunzel. I know what Rapunzel. I'm- Oh, come on. Enough of the lights, Rapunzel. You are not leaving this tower. Ever. No, I'm, I'm the, bad, the guy. bad guy. Duh. I'm only good at being bad. You know what I want for my birthday now? The paint made from the white shells you once brought me. That is a very long trip, Rapunzel. 
Yeah, let her out of the tower for three days and you go go look at for yourself. Oh, that basket of food looks so yum. I want it. I, I love, love you most. most. Honestly, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt that Gothel loves her the most, but for the wrong reasons. Struggling is pointless. Dang, she's so agile. Who are you and how did you find me? <clears throat> I know not who you are, nor how I came to find you. Hi. <laughs> Stop. Uh... All right, Blondie. Rapunzel. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. Oh, God, I forgot about that joke. It's so good. Rapunzel is a weird name. I've never heard of Rapunzel. <laughs> it, this was the start to such great animal sidekicks that don't speak. Mushu will always be my favorite. The non-speaking sidekick animal partner persons to the main character all started here, sort of. But I really enjoyed them starting here. I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home, and you'll give me back my satchel? I promise. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Who are you making promises to, Rapunzel? Why did he think that was gonna work? Um, the reprise is so good! The music! The grass, the dirt, just like I dreamed they'd be. I could go running, racing, and bounding, hair flying, heart pounding. Oh, it's so good! I love this reprise so much! Mother would be so furious. That's okay, I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her, right? The contemplation. <laughs> Me before I cut my first day of school ever. Best day ever! Flynn is not having it. <clears throat> Dude, this is like his second or third time clearing his throat before he starts talking. I wonder if that's just like a thing that he does. Little adventure, that's good. Healthy even. Don't you dare shoo away Pascal like that. Does your mother deserve it? No. Yes. Crush her soul like, like a, a grape. grape. And get you home. Here's your pan, here's your frog. Frog, how dare you. I wonder how many layers it took for just Rapunzel's hair alone in like the animation department. It probably is so many. <laughs> oh God, Maximus ruined it for everyone. <laughs> get it? Where's your rider? Flynn Rider? Flynn Rider took Rapunzel. Get it? Get it? <laughs> Dude, what are the chances? What are the chances? The crown has the satchel on top of it, the step covering the satchel, and then the it's uh, apparently right directly. The moon is hitting the thing just right. Maybe it's the sun, but then it reflects onto the. What are the what are the odds? Gotham, your finest table, please. Oh, I'm so excited uh, for this number. There is not one bad number in this freaking movie. I'm excited for every single one. Oh, now that you're <laughs> Comedy comes in threes. Rapunzel being able to handle the situation herself. <laughs> Let's go, Rapunzel! And I need him to take me to see the lanterns because I've been dreaming about them my entire life! I had a dream once. <laughs> the lyrics in this song, I think, is one of the best in the entire soundtrack. He's got a dream. <laughs> Pascal looking at the rats like, what the hell? And something here that oozes. And my goiter and my nose. I really want to make a love connection. I just want to see the floating lanterns gleam. I'm glad I left my tower. Mother Gothel with her timing though, like always. Go, live your dream. I will. Your dream stinks. I was talking to her. <laughs> Flynn, your dream does stink. That was pretty... Impressive. I know. I know. 
Yeah, Rapunzel has girl power. Are you kidding? She knows what she's doing. You didn't save her from nothing. Ugh, that's why I love this rendition of Rapunzel. She's like using her brain and she has a personality and ugh, I love it. I love it so much. Who's that? They don't like me. Who's that? They don't like me either. Who's that? Let's just assume for the moment that everyone in here doesn't like me. Comedy comes in threes. <laughs> No! Thank God she left him with the freaking pan. Mama, I have got to get me one of these. A cast iron is pretty hefty. <laughs> Maximus is a horse with many talents. You should know that this is the strangest thing I've ever done! Well, you never had a pan versus sword fight with a horse before. <laughs> oh, freaking amazing. Look at this shot. There's no way they made it. No way. I think for me, the scariest way of dying is drowning. Look at Pascal. This is all my fault. Kind of is, but it's also kind of Flynn's fault. If everyone didn't, you know, hate him, this wouldn't have happened either. <laughs> my real name is Eugene Fitzherbert. I have magic hair that glows when I sing. Allow our demon glow, let your power shine. <gasps> what are the chances? Music is so freaking good. <gasps> Look how beautiful that is. It's like golden hour. It doesn't just glow. Damn right it doesn't. Perhaps you want to stop acting like wild dogs and think for a moment. I was going to offer you something worth 1,000 crowns. Oh, well, say lovey. Enjoy your crown. Mother Gothel's so good at manipulating, it is scary. She just thought of this like big brain. She went. We can do this and that and then this and I don't even know how she came up with it but she took bits and little bits of information and she was just being a little nosy and she was able to freaking calculate the most master plan ever. Bring back what once was mine, what once was mine. So good. I don't know, I'm just very interested in your hair and the magical qualities that it possesses. How long has it been doing that exactly? <laughs> Gotta love suppressed freak out. When I was a baby, people tried to cut it. They wanted to take it for themselves. Yeah, that was her. Once it's cut, it turns brown and loses its power. And apparently doesn't grow anymore. Eugene Fitzherbert, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, well, the kids. The tales of Flanagan Rider. Swashbuckling rogue, richest man alive. Not bad with the ladies either. And, and for a kid with nothing, this seemed like the better option. Aww, even Flynn's backstory. Well, a fake reputation is all a man has. <laughs> Ooh, flirty eyes. Oh, God. So cute. <laughs> Nothing like a near-death experience to get the sparks going. Come on, all this vulnerability. The vulnerability makes the love connection, okay? Eugene Fitzherbert, magical hair that glows. Boom. Well, I thought he'd never leave. Oh, God. He just listened for the sound of complete and utter betrayal and followed that. <laughs> Whoever wrote Mother Gothel's lines is so good and so savage, probably. Like, the lines are so good for her. They're so, like, witty and s just snappy and, like, but also kind of, like, charismatic in a way. I don't know if that's the right word, but you know what I mean. And obviously, the delivery of the lines are A+. plus. Mother. No! no. Oh. Don't come cry. Dramatic cape exit, though. Thing, superhuman good looks. I've always had them. Born with it. All good things to those who wait. She ends up being right there, like dramatic cape exit, and then she just kind of like waddled to the nearest trunk. Does it make sense? She can't go far. She needs to keep uh, tabs on Rapunzel. Yes, we're getting Maximus on our side. Sit. What? Now drop the boot. <laughs> drop it. There's no way that she would know how to handle and tame a horse. She spent her life in a tower. Also my birthday. Just so you know. Come on. You can't say no to her birthday. 
Allies, let's go. Also, we could use a horse to get to the kingdom a little faster. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. Realistic hair issues. I was one of those girls that loved braiding other girls' hair. It's like my favorite thing. And I love having my hair like braided too. Oh, her hair is so pretty like that with the flowers in it too. It's for the last princess. Lost Princess, on your birthday. Come on, Rapunzel, you're not putting two and two together? I can't believe she's still barefoot, too. Flynn, you couldn't have gotten her, you know, a pair of shoes? Aw, this is such a cute montage. Rapunzel is so cute. She's having the best day ever. She's reading books. She's painting. She's dancing, doing everything she said that she would do in the tower. But now she's around people and she probably feels like she's at home. Well, best day of your life. I figured you should have a decent seat. Oh, the best scene ever. Most romantic. The best song. The best uh, visuals uh, and duet. And in the animated Disney movie, it's so good. It's so iconic, and I love it. It's not everything I dreamed it would be. It will be. And what if it is? What do I do then? You get to go find a new dream. You get a new dream, and his name is Flynn Rider or Eugene Fitzherbert, whatever floats your boat, man. You telling me that they never had any more kids after that, though? Don't you need, like, another heir? You know? You guys are a royal family? Not that anyone can replace Rapunzel, but like, damn. This has got to be some sort of fire hazard, too. The entire city doing this. He's gorgeous. I wonder how many lights they had to animate for this scene. I'm sure there's a number out there somewhere. Over 45,000 lanterns were created for the I See the Light sequence. That's how you know. Dedication, dude. Dedication. All those years outside looking in. Now I'm here blinking in the starlight. Standing here, it's oh so clear. I'm where I'm meant to be. And at last I see the light. The world has somehow shifted. <laughs> All those days. And he can sing. He's so good. I can't help but swoon. Swoon. It's so good. It's so romantic. That harmony is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And then the kiss tease. They tease the kiss. No, why did you just end oh, Of course. This scene was so frustrating watching the first time because you're just like, Ugh! if you just didn't look them and they just kissed, the, the movie would be different. They just would have went on with their their lives. Maybe she wouldn't have even bothered with Gothel. I guess this is the more better way because they had they de they dealt with her and stuff like that, and it was still a happy ending. But still. Anyhow, just wanted to say the crown is all yours. We heard you found something. <gasps> the girl. We want her instead. Dude, big brain moves. Big brain moves from Mother Gothel. She's gonna be like, psych, none of you guys are getting the girl. I'm taking her back to the tower. Like, master manipulator. I was starting to think you ran off with the crown and left me. Say for yourself. No. Where did this fog come from? It's probably from all the, the burning fires from the freaking lantern. It's just all smoke. It's not fog. It's all smoke covering the freaking kingdom. <laughs> Everyone's like... <coughs> A thousand IQ. Make it seem like she's the hero. Are you hurt? Oh my god. Mother, how did you- I'm so mad, but I'm also like so impressed that she was able to create a plan like that. <laughs> no! No! Bleh, bleh, bleh. <gasps> Max 
Maximus knows that something happened to her. Wow. The fate of freaking Rapunzel and Flynn. It's all on a horse. Oh. The gallows. Damn, so dark for a Disney film. The revelation. She is connecting the dots. She was like, wait a second. Lost princess, lanterns on her birthday. It's my birthday. Whoa, what? I'm the lost princess? No way. That mural of the blonde hair, green eye baby is me? No freaking way. <laughs> that dramatic zoom into her eyes. A little tacky, but love it. Dude, that animation of Flynn is so good jumping over his his cuffed hands behind his back. I am the lost princess, aren't I? Got him! Got him! And I will never let you use my hair again! Jeez. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I'm the best. Duh, do 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 the ceramic unicorn. Three. And the pan coming back full circle. Knees apart. Knees apart. Knees apart. Why? Why do I need to keep my knees apart? Hey, Maximus. You brought them here. Damn right he did, and calculated how he was gonna get catapulted on top of him in that same spot, so that there would no 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 flaws. It was perfect. He had he knew your weight. Rapunzel, let down your hair. No, don't believe it. Get you a guy that can climb hair that way. Tell me you didn't, like, crumble. You did get warned in the beginning, though. This is the story of how he dies. But you, in the movie theater or laptop, however, wherever you watch this, did you not go, Did you not? Did your heart not skip a beat when that happened? Did the wind all not get knocked out of you when that happened and he got stabbed? Come on. I'll never stop trying to get away from you. But if you let me save him, I will go with you. I promise. No, she promised. It's a pretty good deal. She's really good at making deals, let me tell you. <laughs> I can't let you do this. And I can't let you die. Mm. But if you do this, then you will die. Well, she's not gonna die. <laughs> but she won't have the best life. Plot twist of the century. Plot twist of the century, so good. It's so good. He's so big brain. She can't be taken away as prisoner if there's no reason to have her as prisoner anymore. No. And she is goners. No. No. Whoever thought in the uh, animation for her to go up to the broken mirror and look at herself. Goodbye, Mother Gothel. Goodbye. Look, she's so old that she's actually supposed to just be dust. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, but Flynn, you couldn't have, like, you know, let her heal you first and then cut her, your, her, her hair. Like, why are we banking on this tear? Okay, he's not banking on the tear, but why we gotta bank on this tear, okay? Damn, he really do be sacrificing his life for her. You are my new dream. <laughs> so good. And you are mine. And you are mine. Oh, it's so good! It's so cute! Dude, I can't believe it. It's so sad. Just look at the, the reflection in her eyes and the redness of her eyes. It's like the perfect color of pink. Bring, Bring back, back what once was, was mine. <laughs> oh, such a good bird's eye view of the scene. Yeah, we knew he wasn't dead. Tell me this isn't the most Beauty and the Beast scene that you've ever seen in your life, but I, I'm i not complaining at all. This was magical and amazing. Now, does that mean that all her tears are like that? Because that'd be pretty freaking cool. Best one-liner for a Disney princess movie right here. Did I ever tell you I've got a thing for brunettes? <laughs> so good. So good. The 
the sun coming out, the color filling out on the screen. Such a great way to show a happy ending. Oh, so cute. The grayscale beforehand and now bringing all the color is just an easy way to make the visuals tell the story itself. This is a happy moment. It's a great moment. Good job, uh, animators or colorers or whoever focuses on that part of the movie. So they're not going to be suspicious that her hair is brown? Yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. They look like mother and daughter. I'm sure they've gotten a lot of girls like coming in being like, I'm the last princess. What if she's like, not another one? Not another one of these people and they, she kicks her Rapunzel out? <laughs> Imagine. Oh, so cute. This reminds me of the Stranger Things hug. You know what I'm talking about in season one. Welcome to the family, random stranger dude that brought home our daughter. At last, Rapunzel was home and she finally had a real family. Such a good ending! I know narration's a little bit of the cheap way to go, but it's Flynn Rider does it so well. Beginning and end. I started going by Eugene again. Did Rapunzel and I ever get married? And after years and years of asking, I finally said yes. <laughs> so good! Right. He's so good! I love his lines! Happily ever after. Have, have the characters personality come through in the narration that's so good amazing freaking movie i love flynn rider and rapunzel so much They're forever going to be one of my favorite disney couples ever i will always listen to the soundtrack and you best believe that my kids in the future are going to be watching this on the daily okay let me know if you want to see any more disney princess commentaries here on this channel leave suggestions down in the comment section below i want to see all of your suggestions and maybe we'll do some more on this channel. If I were to have to rate this movie, it would be 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. Freaking, it's so good. The art is freaking fantastic in this film. I can honestly watch this movie a bajillion times and never get sick of it. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this commentary, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all of my content. And don't forget to check out my last video. Alrighty, y'all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. K-bye, K-bye, K-bye.